All right, this is Bright Star B Plus class number six recap. We started today by finishing off cosine the line dance. That very ending is a bunch of pivots. You step forwards to start and pivot to the back. Step, pivot halfway, and then step, pivot to the front. The whole purpose here is just to get all the way around, but you have three, pivot, three pivots, so we're doing a full half half. And then we're taking our right foot and we're going step, step, step. Then we're going to do two pivots to get all the way around. So one's to the back, one's to the front, and then you have four steps to reset and get ready to go with a whole routine again, starting with this crossing over brave vine. Yeah. Uh, we had a request for the whole thing, so we're just going to go through all the footwork. Um, I'll be facing backwards. I'll be okay. So it starts to our right. One and two and three and stomp and stomp and stomp and crossing to the left this time. Step forwards, forwards, four counts to bounce around, back, back, same thing. Next we got these heels, crossing with the knees. Triple steps are next. Step, pivot, triple step, triple step, step, pivot, the mambo step. This little low down piece, kick step in between. Here's our ending. Step, 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 step. Pivot, one, two, three, four, and it starts again. Um, we will also make sure that the video of Peter Strom doing this is in the folder so that you can watch someone else's stylings. I highly recommend that. Let's see, then we did some partner dancing. Um, we, did, uh, we did a kickball changes as, wait, did we start with that? We did a an exercise with the... Oh yeah, okay. So we did the scissor kick exercise, which had again uh, eight counts of kickball changes and alternating directions, which looks like kickball change and kickball change and kickball change and kickball change, alternating with the walking. And the keys for that was to really keep our bodies nice and low, keep the footwork small, and keep our feet underneath us as we make that weight change so that we can do kickball changes smoothly and have it feel easy peasy. We also did that to a song where parts of the song were more like energetic and parts were calm and we highly recommend that you take some time this week to listen to some music and just imaginary dance. When would you do? Maybe a bunch of energetic kickball changes versus nice something nice and slow. Yep. Um, it, it helps to serve as a listening exercise as well as a dance exercise. Um, we reviewed the uh, movement from last week, which had this down, up. But this time we did the whole sequence with a little kickball change inside of it. So down, up, kickball change, triple step, triple step. From the side, that looks like this. Rock step, triple step, triple step, down. Um, that is a way of breaking up our dancing into further pieces. So it's, instead of doing a lot of six count moves and eight count moves, we're thinking more in terms of this takes two counts and this move takes two counts. And it's a whole different way that we can conceptualize here in the music and then into the music. We also talked about how that kickball change can take the place of a rock step and follows or leads could choose to do this. It does have a little bit of a different feeling. If we think of our rock step as very steady um, in the distance and the movement, the kickball change is more of a, like, a, a hold and then a spring. So leads, if you notice your follow doing that, adjust accordingly, give them some space. Yeah, one party can do this without another, so that is doing kickball changes. I can still do rock steps or I can notice it and match it. 
We also talked about using the kickball chain in addition to the rock step. So you could do the same sequence we did. However, you can do the rock step after this. The rock step after, after it, sorry. And then the kickball chain to extend it. So. We talked again about hearing in the music. Maybe there's a little thing that you want to hit, so you could do a lot of these. You could do a lot of these ones. You could do a lot of something else. We did a thing where we just like extended our triple steps. Um, you can get creative, but anything could be extended if you're trying to hit something in the music and you were a little early. Just do more of whatever it is that you did too early. Yeah, we talked about trying to focus on the music enough that you can hear accents that are happening musically and match something that you're doing to repeat it so that you can hit that accent at just the right time. All right, we will see you for our last class next week on Fun Endings.